you like to learn how to make this? Let's see. Welcome to Kitty Code Ninja Tutorials. This is Ellie and this is your place to learn to code and have fun. Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can have a really big dance party. We will see how we can take turn when we have a lot of people on the floor. We will invite each other in the middle of the dance floor and take turn while dancing. Did you watch the dance freeze party last week? If no, I put the link below so that you can go and watch it on your own time. If not, it's not a problem. You can join us in this tutorial. We will start everything from the scratch and we will code in scratch. Let's dive in. All right, in order to create this dance party, we need to follow five simple steps and then we need to write it in a language that computer can understand. So there are three main steps, which are number one, go to the center of dance floor and dance. So we tell the sprite to go to the center of dance floor and dance. Then we need to tell the sprite to send the message to the next dancer to come to the stage. And third one, we need to tell the sprite to go to a side and let the next dancer come in. These three steps are the main steps that are operating the whole dance scenario. And then there are two more, which is playing the dance music and setting the backdrop and changing the lighting effect, which are basically to make it more exciting. Let's go and see how we can write it in the language of computer. All right, let's see how we can tell the computer to do these things. First, we go to scratch.mit.edu and then I click create. I delete this cat because I don't need it. I'm gonna import three sprites which are my dancers so i click here i choose the dance category then i can choose as many dancers as i want or i can import more dancers from my own computer i choose this one and also I choose the sprite of myself. In order to see how you can have the sprite of yourself, watch my previous video. The link is in the description. You don't have to use your own sprite, but it's even more fun to have your own sprite on the dance stage. All right, so I import mine. And Let's have one more. You can import as many dancers as I want. In this video, I'm showing with three. I need to make sure that every sprite has various costumes because each costume is going to be used as a dance pose. So this one has, which is good. This one should have as well. And then the one that I imported, I'm going to add more costumes to it. So I choose it. I go to the costume tab and from here, not here, back, 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 back. I'm going to choose more costumes by uploading from my computer. So I upload all the dance poses that I have here. All right. Now we have three sprites with three dance poses. Now it's time to tell them first dance. Okay. Let's start 
with this one. The code for writing the dance is, first of all, we need to trigger the start button. So let's say this sprite is going to start the dancing. Every first action should be started by when start clicked. So I go to the events, I drag when start clicked repeat maybe five times and then I go to the looks change to the next costume by this code this character goes from one costume to another costume five times so it should look like as it's dancing let's see it does, but it's so fast. So in order to make it more like a dance, we go to the control and add some weight in between poses. Weight 0 0.3 seconds. Let's test it. It's good. All right. We said that the second step is that each dancer is calling another dancer to the center of the dance floor so let's see how we can do it let's give each character a name so that we can call them juvie okay let's say this one is judy Let's call this guy mm, Alex and then Ellie. <laughs> All right. Now, this one is dancing and then he's going to call another one. For calling, there is something on the events which is called broadcast so broadcast message one which is calling the other dancer i'm going to broadcast and then i'm creating a new message from here which i say judy's turn Okay, so broadcast Judy's turn. So this dancer is dancing five times and then calling the other one. So I go to Judy and then I say, when I receive Judy's turn, now it's time to for this one to dance. When I receive Judy's turn, repeat. So the same code for the dance is from the control. Repeat five times. Go to the next costume. And then I need a bit of weight in between to slow down the changes of the moves. Wait, wait, wait. It should go inside. So when I receive Judy's turn, I repeat five times next costume and I wait. Let's run it and see what happens. So this one is dancing and then next one dances five times. So one more thing we need to add is when Alex called Ellie, Ellie should receive it. So again here, we need to write similar code for Ellie as well. So I say, when I receive 
alias turn. Again, same as the other ones, repeat five times or how many times do you like. Go to next costume, a little wait in between, and 0 0.3, and then I'm going to call Judy again. So from the events, broadcast, Judy's turn. Now we should, this three people should dance forever. Everyone is calling the next person. All right. One more thing we're going to do is that we want every character, every dancer that wants to dance, go to the middle of the stage, which is this place, location 000. We can see the location from here. So if I say 000 is where is the center of the screen. So we have X and Y axis here. Uh, so, in order to locate everyone that is going to the stage in the middle of the screen, we can go to the motion and then say go to X and Y zero zero. So when I receive, it's my turn to dance, I go to This location, zero and zero. And when I'm done with dancing, I call the next person and I also move away from the center. So I can do glide one second because I want it to horizontally just go to some direction left or right i keep the y as zero and i change this one to some number like 100 let's test it and see how it looks like so i stop i play yeah it dances and it goes away i do this for another for the other characters as well. So any character that is called to go to the dance floor goes to the center and then when it's done glides to the corner. So I write it for Alex. When I receive turn go to zero zero. And when I'm done, glide to a actually not random position, glide to location, maybe minus hundred and zero and do this the same thing for Judy, go to zero zero and then at the end glide location x 140 and zero let's test it and see how it looks like i play so ellie dances goes to the corner so you see everyone that dances moves away and then the next one comes to the center. It's just like a real party. You can give your project a proper name from here, which I call it Dance Party 2. And also, we can add one thing, which is everyone that is coming to the middle, see 
a cloud on top of their head saying like I'm coming or basically showing that they are saying something. So I go to Ellie. When I receive it's my turn, I go to this location and I want to see I want to say by writing Ellie is coming actually let's do it for like Ellie is coming at this one Let's say this one. Ellie is coming for a short amount of time. So I say, say Ellie is coming for maybe one second and then I don't want it to remain forever. Let's do this for other characters as well. So from the looks, as soon as it was called, I can say, hello, Alex is here. And then the same for Judy. My turn, Judy is coming. And also for one second. Now I, I stop and play to see how it looks like. All right. Now we have two more things to do, adding a music and a backdrop and a light and the lighting let's see okay let's add the music to it as well so in order to have a music you first need to go to the sounds and add a music here first so i go here upload the sound upload sound um actually if you want to choose some sound from your computer you go to upload sounds otherwise it's easier to just um click here and choose a sound i can narrow down to dance and choose something i choose this one so now i have a song i go to my code Currently, the computer doesn't know that it should use the sound. So I need to write a code to tell the computer to play the sound. So in order to do that, I say, when a start click, because I want this one to happen as soon as the start is clicked. So from the events, when start clicked, uh, repeat 10 times. And then on the sound, play sound dance until done. So I want it to be played 10 times. But you can choose how many times that you like. So I play and see. So cool. Yeah. All right. What else? Now we can add a backdrop as well. Let's go here. And then let's choose a backdrop that is nice for a dance stage. I like this one and this one. Let's do this one, spotlight. So I have a backdrop. And one more thing we can do is to change the backdrop 
lighting so that it looks like the light is changing behind. In Scratch, there is something which is really, really cool, which is color effect. If I go to this backdrop, if I click on here, I can write a color effect code for the backdrop so that the lighting would be changed. So again, when start click, then I go to the looks and then change color effect by something. And I'm going to repeat this action. I'm going to say do this thing forever. So I say forever change color effect by 25. And maybe I can put some weight in between so that I see one color and then I wait a bit and then another color. So wait. Maybe one second, two seconds, or whatever you like. Maybe just, yeah. Let's play and see how it looks. You see, the color is being changed. We are done with this tutorial. Well done, everyone. I'm so proud of you. I hope you followed along. Feel free to pause the repeat the video and pause whenever you like if, if the pace is so fast for you. I put the link in the description so that you can go to the Scratch website and check it out if you wanted so that you have access to the whole code. Share your project with us so that we will see what you have done. If you have any idea, feel free to put it in the comments how we can make this project better, how we can make it more exciting. I'm so excited to see your projects. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. In this tutorial, you learned how to write your own dance party in Scratch. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you won't miss the next tutorial. What is this? Ooh, they're calling me to go to the dance floor. I have to go. Bye. Bye.